And today we are wrapping up our booster box of Double Blaze. So we got some more packs to open up with that. And uh, Unbroken Bonds is getting closer every day. It's right around the corner, comes out in May. Uh, so that's why it's been great to open up this uh, Double Blaze set. And uh, yeah, we gotta we gotta pull our first secret rare. We've been getting kind of uh, shafted in a way where we get a full art and then no secret rare. So hopefully we're going to break this curse and uh, jump and uh, kind of like <clears throat> get get something really good. Uh, I'm looking for the alternate art muck or the rainbow rare muck. That's that's the card I want, guys. That's the one I want to see the most. So let's get into it. All right, to start this video off, we're going to do our burning shadows right off the bat just because uh, we have a tendency to forget on this channel to go oh, can't wait till we get that rainbow rare it's gonna be such a good video uh, we got a charmeleon he's like he's look, he looks mad Wobbuffet saluting Inke Lediba <clears throat> oh, Caterpie's pretty cute this guy's weird he's just weird Simi Sage, and then ooh, look at this Gyarados. That looks pretty cool. He looks, he looks furious. So, no Charizard, but we did get a pretty good hit. And why is this GX box here? This Ultra Shiny. And so, one thing I just want to bubble up is, uh, I just want to thank everyone again for all the continued support. This channel has been growing like at a very fast rate, uh, and I really appreciate all the support. Um, <clears throat> we're already getting pretty close to that 200 sub mark and we're going to double down on our last giveaway when we did hit break that 100 and we're going to open when we do get to 200 guys we're going to open up another one of these boxes only we're upping the ante this time we're going to be giving away two packs and uh, maybe we'll continue this uh, uh, I'm not sure if I have enough boxes, but uh, maybe that means that when we hit that thousand mark We're gonna give away every single pack But however again the whole point of it is just to thank everyone for all the support that we've gotten on this channel and the rate that it's just been growing is uh, you know, I I'm very appreciative to everyone that kind of watches and, and participates in, in the community. I think that's the um, Honestly, that's my favorite part is just to uh, talk with all the people uh, engage with the People that have been watching the videos and stuff like that. And uh, it's uh, much more rewarding than I thought it would be. Um, sometimes when people say like things like community, sometimes I find I thought it was kind of corny, but now I now I really understand. So we have a so let's get a little more serious. Sorry to get a little sappy on you guys. Don't trio. Ooh, yeah, we've been pulling a lot of these whimsicots. Um, I I've been loving these boxes because we've been getting whimsicots, we've been getting mucks, we got a Reshiri and Charizard, and we're continuing right where we left off. I feel like we're only getting the ones that we want. Uh, beyond that, I love the things that we are getting. A <laughs> uh, little a little confusing, I understand. All right, let's see. Cleffa, then an Arcanine. And we got a couple of those ones at this point. That's the thing with these Japanese sets. They're, uh, they're very small, which is, on the one hand, it's cool because you get like a, a new set like every month and a half, maybe, compared to in the English. The sets are much bigger, which has its pros. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but you feel like you have to wait like, it's like once a quarter. But Japanese is like, uh, every couple, every like month or two months tops is like, all right, here's the next one. Here's the next one. I could definitely see that being maybe, uh, maybe that's easier when it comes to when you know what you want, so you don't you don't have to miss less. Um, however, there's just all these different sets to buy or you know try to collect. Doug Trio, not as epic of an art as the the, the Diglet Crab Brawler. Litten, very cute. Porygon 2, never very good, but very cool looking. And the Poliwhirl. Ah, this is the, the after. The before has him. About to jump in the water. This one is in there. Uh, let's, come on. We can we can do this, guys. We can get, um, ah, the mischievous Miss, Miss Magius. Uh, Toracat. Ah, this is a, I had to look it up. It was like a Hapini or something. Krabby. And some kind of rock. Yeah, some <laughs> some of the stuff is lost in translation when it comes to yeah. I'll go out and I'll make sure I know like the big hits and the GX cards, like a lot of stuff that we've been talking about in our previous videos. But some of these uh these 
uh, non GX things or especially like the trainers I'm less motivated to figure out what they do and uh, we are getting pretty good at this pull tab guys we're learning it and I think I'm pretty confident we're not doing any damage to the card honestly that's that's like half the concern when it comes to those pull tabs Blusephalon what is going on here it's just like a lollipop with dots on it it's almost it kind of looks like a clown I think they ugh. all right so <laughs> all right we got a hunch crow this guy's not that good um, whenever I see like muck and whimsicott I'm really happy because it means we didn't get stuff like this hunch crow nice <laughs> all right let's see oh I love this uh, I wonder if they're gonna do this more often where one of them is kind of just like playing with a like a plush or something of a different Pokemon uh, Ooh, I love this one. <laughs> Snorlax heart is so cute. The Snorlax is cute. The Pikachu's kind of have that same like art style um, Oh, I love that. Let me put this one over here I'm not sure what the attack does, but looks like something about a tag team do additional 100 maybe a hundred additional 120 actually wow that'd be surprisingly good like by itself or against a non tag team that sounds terrible it's 60 but uh, I don't understand Japanese but that would be my guess is that it will do uh, 180 to a tag team which is basically two shot territory although that does require two energy cards so and we got some kind of a pickaxe Ah, once I, once I, although, oh, I hope I don't damage like a secret rare or something, but once I'm starting to build some confidence in this pull tab thing without damaging the cards, oh, it's very satisfying. Torcat, and then this, that buff Persian, been hitting the gym. It's probably not Giovanni's Persian, I feel like that thing's always just like sitting on his lap or next to him. That, that looks like a typical like... CEO, super lazy person. No, not that they're lazy, but nah, I think you, I think you get what I'm saying. Hope I didn't offend anyone. All right, we only got a couple packs left, guys. Come on, let's get a rainbow rare. Salazzle. We got two left. Hmm. I'm loving the Japanese stuff, guys. Especially like the. You know what it is? I think the ultra shiny. It just spoils. It just spoiled me when uh, that's the first thing I opened. It just spoiled it for me. And if this is if this is how it goes, where you you don't always get something better than a full art, a, a full art GX, not like a full art trainer or something like that. That's just a little hard for me to. This is a tough pill to swallow. I'm not gonna lie. So for our last pack of our second box of Double Blaze, we have Wigglytuff, Coughing, Cubone. Oddish. Ooh, this Gengar looks pretty cool. I think this is the first time I've seen this one. Gengar always looks really menacing. I think that's why I like the Mimikyu Gengar. Uh, might be one of my favorite tag teams just because, yeah, he looks he looks so menacing. Um, when it comes to, like, if you combine the menacing look of a Gengar with that Blacephalon that I think you have. I don't remember what the clown's name is in it, but... <laughs> That, that's what you get as a result when you mix those two um, but <laughs> off that tangent um, so there you guys have it uh, our second box of double blaze I'm really happy with what the the Pokemon cards that, or the cards that we pulled however uh, still yet to get a secret rare hyper rare anything like that so that's that's actually very disappointing not gonna lie um, but again, uh, thanks for all the support on the channel, guys. I've really been enjoying it, and uh, uh, the community has just been awesome, and it's continuing to expand, which is great. Um, and when we do hit that 200, again, we're going to open another one of these boxes, and we'll give away two packs this time. We're going to double down on that. So, all right, I think that's all I have for today. I'm Awanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.